McCarlin's through, he might go for it, still going, trying to barge his way through, goes to the oh, what a goal! Arriving Ryan O'Neill from an almost impossible angle, and that's the rousing score I'm now we're looking for. Kicks this one in. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Sideline Eye podcast. We have something a little different today, well, very different today, um, in our build up to the All Ireland final coming up on Sunday. We headed down to McKeever Sports in Lurgan and we got a glimpse at everything that's going on down there. It's been a busy couple of weeks and months for the team at McKeever's. They've been producing the All Ireland final jerseys and we got to see. Um, the jerseys that the players will be wearing on Sunday. Um, they have the, printed on them the All Ireland Final 2024, which is something special. And I got a few pictures in that. That will be part of the video. I spoke to the senior production manager, Paul Craney, at McKeever Sport, and he talked us through everything that's been going on down there for the last wee while and talked us through the um, production of the Armagh jersey, showed us how they get it from the computer screen to the printed out version, to um, the onto the fabric and out to the players and the, the shops and everywhere else that's going to be selling them over the next few days. So um, hopefully you enjoy that. And it's just something a little different as we build up to the All-Ireland Final. We'll be back on either Thursday or Friday, hopefully Thursday, and we'll have a preview show. Um, we're hoping to have two ex-players on, one from Armagh and one from Galway. We're just trying to work that out and, and confirm um, times for recordings and stuff so we'll definitely have a podcast on Thursday just not 100% sure who we'll have on at the minute and of course we'll have our club roundup on Saturday morning as well there's um, lots of club action this weekend and the junior championship starts um, next weekend as well so while this is the the last round of the Ireland series the, the club action is just around the corner the club stuff is just around the corner so we'll be very busy and we'll bring in that all day next week so we'll be back on Thursday and we'll be back on Saturday morning as well with our club roundup. Make sure to tune in and to um, follow us wherever you get your, your podcast, whether that be Spotify, YouTube, or wherever else. So we'll chat to everybody on Thursday. Uh, thanks for coming down, Sean. Paul Craney, um, Senior Production Manager at McKeever Sports here, uh, based on our factory in Lurgan. Uh, thanks for coming down today. It's great to have you here and great to see what's going on with Armagh hitting the All-Ireland Final. Two weeks ago, the demand has been chaotic. And we're doing our best here in the factory locally to get as many thousand jerseys into our retail outlets and cross Midlane and Lurgan as, as much as possible uh, to fulfil all of those demands for the game on Sunday. Crazy, Sean. Um, I suppose from a business perspective, we didn't anticipate how crazy it would be. Having been around in 2002, I think this has surpassed that demand already. Um, and we actually took a decision as a business last week to put on hold our team wear business, which which is a large portion of what we do, um, and to solely focus on our mall product, both home and away jerseys, over the last two weeks, so that we can get uh, everybody kitted out in orange and ready for Croke Park this weekend. Um, it's great to see. It's been phenomenal um, over the course of the last couple of weeks. We'll put six or seven thousand units into the shops and, and our e-commerce side of things. Um, I suppose uh, we, we have to react and, and be reactive to these situations. It it's, doesn't come around too often for Armada being an All-Ireland final, but the buzz around the town, both Lurgan and across the county, is incredible. And we're delighted to see the brand and Armada doing extremely well. Um, just hoping and praying for the right outcome on Sunday in Crook Park. Uh, we're getting we're getting a bit of sleep, but uh, at the minute, I suppose from a manufacturing perspective, we're working on a fourteen sort of hour day on uh, shifts across thirty to forty staff. Um, locally, we employ thirty plus staff in our manufacturing side of the business, um, and it's great to see them them as GAA people also seeing the fruits of of our labour as well and what it does and the buzz it brings to the county. Majority of our staff are 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 born and bred in the Lurgan or Down Craigavon area, um, but we do employ nationally as well. We have a number of different uh, nationalities in the factory and manufacturing across various countries in Europe, and that's an important part of the process for us as well. 
is bringing those people in to learn the trade and trying to build a factory that can sew and stitch for the future years to come. Um, a lot of people don't understand the process and it's great to be able to explain it to them. So um, from the design stage, our design team will set up a flat file on Illustrator that goes to our print room. Um, the jerseys are printed onto sublimated paper using special sublimation printers. They're then transferred onto fabric on a high temperature uh, transfer machine. When we, get the, when we get that done onto fabric, we put it through a laser cutter downstairs, um, which we'll be able to show you later on today. And the laser cutter will produce a jersey cut to within 0.5 millimeters of accuracy within 30 seconds. And then that's ready to go for, for the girls on the sewing floor here. Um, I suppose when, when the jersey hits the sewing floor, it takes 15, 20 minutes to get all those processes done on the jersey at QC for checking. Um, but when you've thousands in the process, you times those thousands by 20 minutes, then there's a hell of a lot of time and effort required to get through them all. Some of the ladies on our sewing floor have been here for 45 years or more. Um, they've been in the sewing industry and I'm, I'm working on GAI product for near 20 years now. So when they see that coming through, the, the care and attention that they give to the jerseys uh, ready for Sunday is second to none. Um, they're also putting a, a good luck message in for the lads on Sunday within the kit bag. Uh, and it'd be nice to see that, that going to the, to the squad and for Armagh to reap the rewards come Sunday evening at half five. Yeah, we produce Leitrim, uh, have done now for three seasons and uh, it's been going quite well and successful and uh, the jerseys have been produced very well and the county seem to be delighted with, with the colours and the designs that we have produced for them. So um, we're always on the lookout for more counties and it would be fantastic if we can get another one or two on board in the coming seasons. Um, but we, we, look, we look further afield than just GAA here, Sean. We do a lot of stuff for for clubs, for athletics, for rugby. Um, we're currently in the middle of finishing our contract with OFI for Paris uh, 2024 for the Olympic Games starting this weekend. Um, and we're in the midst of doing our Paralympics 2024 kit for, for Ireland as well. So um, we do a lot of stuff. We, we do a lot of stuff locally. We do a lot of stuff uh, commercially. And we're just trying to drive the business forward. Um, it's a family business. And I suppose that's important to state that as a family business, um, everybody's close knit. Everybody drives together, and, and there's a real good team ethos amongst amongst everybody. Uh, no, things won't slow down no, on Monday morning. I suppose we'll probably take a couple of hours to to recuperate and get going again on on Monday morning. But um, we'll be doubling our efforts from next Monday onwards to catch up on those team work orders for for the clubs and, and our other customers, um, because they're as important to us as as our ma are, and it's important that we fulfill their requirements and get their orders out the door and ready to go for their club championships and so forth starting in the coming weeks. So I'm just going to bring you through the process of manufacturing a jersey today, Sean. Um, so what I'm doing here is loading the art file into the, the software that, that enables us to be able to print the jersey. Um, you can see all of the detail comes up on the screen, front of the jersey, back, sleeves, collars and cuffs. And that goes through a printer now, which we're going to go over to in a second. Uh, sublimation printer, specially made printer that allows us to make jerseys and, and vests and shorts and so forth. So we're just going to transition this across into the printer now. So what you can see here, Sean, is that the jersey has been sent to the sublimation printer. And it's now printing all of the information that was on the screen you've seen previous. Uh, this jersey will take sort of 8 to 10 minutes to print. And we print those in bulk, and when they're ready, then they go to the transfer machine out in the factory floor, uh, which is the next process and getting it onto fabric. So this is the next stage in the process, Sean. Once we finish up printing on our paper on, on the sublimation printers, uh, we bring that paper out and translate it onto fabric. So what happens is the jerseys go through the transfer machine at 200 degrees uh, at a high pressure uh, on the drum and the jerseys will turn out on the other side on your fabric ready to go to the laser for cut. So this is the next stage of the process, Sean, uh, and the final stage before it goes to the sewing floor. We put it through the laser cutter, uh, camera is active and reads the jersey in front of it, and it cuts everything to within 0.5 millimeters of accuracy, as you can see what's in front of you. 
So now the jerseys are up on the sewing floor, Sean. Uh, they go through about five different processes up here. That's uh, getting the, the side seams done, the collars, the cuffs, putting the badge in the jersey, and then having them to finish them off before they go up to QC for completion. Um, Mary's one of our longest serving members here on the sewing floor. She's been at this a long time, so she's one of the most experienced in the business. So this is the final stage of the process, Sean, which is where our garments hit QC. Uh, they get all the care and attention at this side, clipped, trimmed, pressed, folded and bagged, and out to the warehouse and the retail shops ready for, for sale for our customers. So um, we have thousands of these going through this week in time for the All-Ireland Final. Through, he might go for it, still going, trying to barge his way through. Goes to the spot, what a goal! Arriving, Ryan O'Neill from an almost impossible angle, and that's the rousing score I'm now looking for. This Connor Turbot kicks this one in, oh, that is absolutely superb.